Hi, this is Tamara from MooglyBlog.com, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to make the Stormy Weather Cowl. To make this cowl, you will need two skeins of Lion Brand Yarn Woolies Thick and Quick. Here is the original Stormy Weather Cowl. I used slightly, a slightly different color for the dark color on this one, but I ran out, so I'll be substituting that sparkly brown one. And as you can see, it's got a zigzag pattern, and because of the chunky yarn, you can make this great big cowl in only 11 rounds. So let me show you how it's done. To begin, you're going to want to start with an end hook. This is my big end hook here. And you're going to want to either chain an odd number, the pattern calls for 61, and then single crochet in the second chain and each chain to the end, or foundation single crochet an even number. Either way, at the end of round one, you want to have an even number of stitches. Then you're going to, let me pull up a little more yarn here, this thick stuff, you go through it pretty quick. You're going to join to work in the round, so make sure you're not twisting, and work a slip stitch in that first single crochet. Grab the end of the yarn here, Oop. and that's another thing to watch for, make sure you don't have the yarn going through the middle of the cowl, or you're going to be working through it the whole time. All right, you wanna make sure it's up on top here so we can slip stitch. And this is a very short one. This one would be far too small to wear, maybe for like a doll. So, but it'll be enough to demonstrate the stitch pattern. So that's it for round one. Now we're ready to begin round two. To begin, we're going to chain two, skip the first two stitches, sti yeah, let me try that again. Skip the first two stitches, one, two, and double crochet in the next, like so. That is going to count as our first double crochet two together. Then we chain one and double crochet two together again. But we're going to work the first leg in that same stitch that we finished the last one in. Stop when there's two loops left on the hook, yarn over, skip one stitch, and work the second half in the stitch after that. With three loops on the hook, we yarn over and pull through all three. All right, then we chain one again and do it again. Yarn over, work the first leg in the same stitch that we finished the last one in. Stop with two loops left in the hook, yarn over, pull up some more yarn. Okay, yarn over, skip a stitch, and finish the double crochet two in the next one there. And again, that's the same way all around here for the second round. Chain one, work the first half in the same stitch as the last one, skip a stitch, work the second half in the stitch after that. You can see how fast this works up with this great big yarn. Chunky yarn is very popular right now. As you can see, you can really whip some projects up very fast with it, which is great with the holidays approaching. I know it's only October right now as I'm filming this, but the holidays will be here before we know it. So I'm already halfway around here, closing up on it quickly. And when we get to the end of this round, we are going to join with a slip stitch and work one more round with this color before we break and go to the second color. So just a couple more double crochet twos together. Remember to work a chain one in between. That will come in handy later, chain one. First leg in the same stitch, skip a stitch, second leg of the double crochet two together and the one after that. You can see this kind of makes upside down V's here. And I know I'm going through these quickly here. If you're unfamiliar with double crochet two together, I have a separate video tutorial for that that you can find on my YouTube channel and I have it linked in the blog post. Okay, make sure we're not getting twisted up here as we come to the end. What we're going to do for this very last double crochet two together, we're going to work the first leg in the same stitch as the last one we ended there, just as before. Then we yarn over and we finish it by going back in that stitch we slip stitch to at the end of the first round. So you can see they're all kind of joined there. All right. Then we chain one and we go ahead and slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. The chain two double crochet counts as the first double crochet two together. So we'll just slip stitch right in the top of that 
first double crochet there. All right, now round three, flip some more yarn again. Like I said, this, this thick stuff, you go through it so quick. We're going to chain one, single crochet in the top of that double crochet two together, chain one, skip the chain one space, and single crochet in the next. Did I say double crochet there before? I might have, I meant single crochet. Unless you're in the UK, in which case I did mean double crochet. But if you're working with American terms, don't worry about it. Single crochet in the top of the double crochet two together, chain one, skip the chain one space, single crochet in the next one. Skip the chain one space, single crochet in the top of the next double crochet two together. This is sometimes called a double crochet two, the double crochet two together is sometimes called a double crochet decrease. But if that's all they say about it, it's usually over two stitches right next to each other instead of skipping one in between. So it's always important to read your instructions carefully. All right, we are all, wait, here we are. We're all the way around again. Pretty simple when it's just a single crochet, chain one, single crochet. So we're back to that first single crochet. At this point, we are going to cut the yarn. And I like to use what I call the seamless join to finish off. Um, you could slip stitch to that first single crochet and finish off the usual way. It's up to you. I'll just use my hook real quick here. Pull it through and pull it back down through the center of that last chain there. And then I'll weave in the end when it's all done. Okay, I'll just pull that out of the way. So that is the first three rounds of the Stormy Weather Cowl. Now we're going to use our second color. Here I have the fig, I believe it's called, that I used in the original. Now with this one, you're going to be double crocheting in the chain spaces. Now, not just the chain space of the last row, but the chain space of the row below that. So we're going to enclose both those chain spaces inside these stitches. All right, so with color B, we're going to join with a slip stitch in each chain one space in round two. So come all the way down here. We've got the round three chain space here. Go down into round two, and it doesn't matter which one, and chain. And you see how those are squished together there? Okay, next we are going to chain two and double crochet in the next chain one space. All right, I'm gonna pull that join with a slip stitch down tight, otherwise it ends up looking like a chain three. All right, and you see, that's kind of like that chain two and then double crochet that we started with on round two. We're doing it again here in round four. We're gonna chain one, then going into that same chain one space as before. Work the first leg of a double crochet two together. Skip to the next chain one space, but remember, go down two rows, not that last one, but the one before, and closing them all in there. Let me show you a little more carefully here on this next one. Remember to chain one in between, yarn over, go into that down into the chain one space, you're going to trap both rows in that stitch there. Then go to the next chain one space, and you see trap both rows there again. All right, and then chain one and do it again. As you can see, it's a pretty simple pattern and it moves very quickly. Of course, as I said, when you're making an actual cowl, you're going to want to have a lot more stitches than this. This is a much smaller version. And remember too, if you upsize it, you're going to need more yarn. This was designed to use just the two skeins and have a little bit of the second color left over. For those who don't like their cowls super chunky, a great alternative would be to use Lion Brand uh, Wool Ease Worsted Weight and of course a smaller hook. And then just you would need to make sure that you have enough stitches in that first round to get the length desired. But as long as it's an even number, you'll be all set. All right, I think you're certainly getting the idea here. I'll just demonstrate the end here. 
of this round, which is going to be just like the end of round two. There we are. And we get back here. We've got that chain wings one space that we first joined with a slip stitch to. That's where we're going to finish that last double crochet two together. Chain one and then join to the top of that first double crochet. You can see our zigzag pattern here is starting to emerge. Now for round five, you would repeat round three. So that means you'd chain one, single crochet in the top there, chain one, skip the next chain one space, single crochet, chain one, skip the next chain one space, single crochet, on around. Then you would break the yarn of color B here, stop with color B, using the second color, work exactly the same, two rows. Going in between those chain one spaces with the first color to create the double crochet twos together, and then the single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one. And that's the basic pattern for rows um, six and seven. Then you go back, you would be doing with the first color, with rows eight and nine, you'd be doing it with this color again. With row 10, you go back to the main color, doing the double crochet two together again. And then with round 11, rather than working a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, you would instead, let's pretend this is round 11, you would work a single crochet in the top of the double crochet two together, and then a single crochet in that last chain space. Single crochet in the stitch, single crochet in the chain space. So basically, let me pull the original back out here. You've got, here's the first three rows, then you've got the contrast color for rows four and five, then you've got rows six and seven, rows eight and nine, row ten, you work the double crochet twos together again, and then single crochet in each stitch and chain space around. Very simple, as you can see. And that's all there is to crocheting the stormy weather cowl. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you do, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see more great crochet tutorials from mooglyblog.com. Thanks so much for watching. Thank you.